Hello, I wanted to make a quick video about digital photo book printing. I've always been fascinated with photos ever since I was a little kid and preserving family histories. When I was a kid, unfortunately, our family just kept all our photos up in the top of the closet and shoe boxes. When I became old enough to have my own photos, I bought photo albums from the stores and stuck all my photos in those. Then as I began to travel as a young adult, I realized that I wanted to preserve my memories in a more creative way and I got into scrapbooking. I know it's not the most masculine thing to do, but I like the creativity and flexibility a lot. So I bought all the supplies, scissors, stickers, and all that stuff and made a ton of paper scrapbooks. But as the digital revolution moved in, I fought it for a while and eventually succumbed and bought my first digital camera, started taking photos and realizing that most of my photos were just sitting on my hard drive and weren't in a form that I could preserve or share with family and friends. So I started looking into digital scrapbooks. There are numerous companies and numerous offerings out there, and I've tried pretty much most of them, which has led me to this video, which is about my publisher, which is just my latest and greatest favorite company to have my pictures printed by. So I started off with the portrait style books. This is an eight and a half by 11 size that I had printed by Incubook, which is no longer in business. Um, I printed this size because my photo um, scrapbooks that I had, my paper scrapbooks, were in this form on regular eight and a half by 11 paper. So I scanned them all in and had them reprinted digitally. Then I discovered the Photo Book America, which does these large coffee table size portrait books. And I did a book with them. They're printed in Malaysia and the books are very, very nice. The paper is super thick, but they're a little bit unwielding to try to deal with. But this is one of my first discoveries into digital scrapbooking. Most of the stuff that's designed in digital scrapbooking by the designers is done in a 12 by 12 size. So these are the square books that are available. This is actually eight by eight, which is available through Shutterfly. And this is an eight and a half by eight and a half, which I got from Mixbook. And then you can kind of see the difference, eight and a half by eight, eight and a half, and then the 12 by 12. So I was ordering these books for family and friends, and I like them. They're perfectly good books. Um, but there's just not anything that special about them. I even did one for, of our fa old family photos that were in those shoe boxes. This is all black and white which was really cool to document all the information and then be able to order copies for my kids and everybody else. So that has led me to the discovery of the landscape books that are printed by my publisher. This is one I had recently done myself that is of a trip we took in June to Yellowstone. This is the 8.75, 8, 8 by 11.75 size book. And then this is the larger coffee table size that is 15 by 11.75. Um, I believe those are the measurements. The books are just gorgeous. They come with a vellum page in the front. And this is their super gloss printing and their lay flat option. It's an additional charge, but you just can't compare. The pictures, the coloring on the pictures is incredible. I don't know if the phone could pick it up. Yeah, this is the gloss that's on the pages which just really allows the, the photos to pop. Um, it's very much like a traditional photograph. And these books are huge. This is a, um, you can see is huge. But they, what the book I really like about these books is they allow you to do two, point, two page spreads, which I'll show you one that I did. This is a two page spread. Now I do all my own photo books in Photoshop Elements, and then I upload the full two page spread as one picture and stretch it across the page or on a single page, I upload it as just a single picture. However, you can also design your own online using the company software. I like the creativity and flexibility of doing it myself, even though it does take quite a long time to do. But once you get one book done, it's easy to order all these for family and friends. So you can see that the smaller size book, which I ordered for grandma and the kids, because it's more cost effective as well, it's exactly the same, lay flat, super gloss. And just to give you an example of what that looks like, so a traditional page that just has a slight sheen to it in the other publisher companies. This one, you can see the colors just pop and it's the paper is thin. Most lay flat books have 
really hardcore, rigid cardboard pages that um, are very kind of difficult to flip through and might be good for a wedding book, but maybe not for a family vacation. Where these pages are very flexible, they're very durable, you could probably clean them if something got spilled on them. They don't really leave any fingerprints on them. Really love these books. Now, prices, you got to look for a coupon. Um, photobookgirl.com is a great place to start. She has a great deal running on these photo books right now where you can get extra pages for free. If you don't order the Lay Flat or the Super Gloss, they'll make you an offer for it at the end at a reduced price. But this big book right here, shipped, taxes, everything, 100 pages, I got for $117. The smaller book, shipped, taxes, everything, 64 bucks. Um, and that is a pretty credible deal for a custom-made book of your own with this quality. So check them out, mypublisher.com. I hope you enjoyed the video, and see you later.